Women today are so egotistical and care so little about what men actually think and what men actually like that they believe that men should like the exact same things that they like. And if we don't, it's because we're misogynist, we're weak, can't handle a strong woman, or we're predators. How old are you? No disrespect, because I think we're all an older panel here. That's yeah, fine to I'm, see. I'm 40 years you old. You hit the wall. You're like me. I was okay, married sister. for 10 years. Great. So you got to lower your standards and you will I'm change gonna your life. I'm not going to lower my standards at all, ever. But, but you're living in a pipe dream. If you think um, that you're going to attract a man when you're making multiple <laughs> six figures, that's going to like be, and I'm sorry, you don't look that sexual to me. I'm just being honest. You don't look like you're giving blowjobs every day. And are you going to be able to- I don't want to wanna look like that, by the way. Okay, great. Cool. <laughs> and let's see what kind of man you get do you think that you're going to be able to give up your business if a man comes to you you're going to walk and drop everything the covers because it's clear that your significance is what's driving your life and you know tony robbins work okay that's will you? that's will your you? opinion would you i'm not going to drop anything that's for right. any man that's right my point exactly you're delusional to think you're going to get a high value man who's going to pay your bills who you won't suck his dick and you're not going to drop your six-figure business I, for him first this is just another example of a boss babe thinking that her value lies with her success and Unfortunately, men just don't care. In this video, you know, the acknowledgement of, of them both hitting the wall, you can see how uncomfortable it made her because she's thinking, I'm the most up I've ever been. You know, my value is the highest it's ever been. Of a group of white girls who are sitting at their graduation engaged. And the question came up well, why is it not the reality for black women? I know y'all not gonna like what I gotta say, but you know me, I'm gonna say it anyways. First and foremost, black women are above reproach. If it don't validate us or excuse our bad behavior, we don't wanna hear it. Instead, we'll say, well, men do it too. Secondly, we'll find every excuse in the world to validate why we don't want to be married or why we don't want to be in a relationship. Well, they get cheated on. Well, they do this. Well, they do that. But then we have all these standards for men and we're still actively seeking for men in the midst of our hurt while inadvertently telling them to go to therapy we do not practice what we preach thirdly the independent woman is a myth actually cared about being independent and it was something that made you happy you would not have all these standards to negate your independence nobody wants to relinquish power for almost every other race finding a good husband is top always equal on their priority list to their careers but for black women <laughs> that's an afterthought if you tell a black woman hey i feel like you know you should prioritize finding a good husband on the same level as your career. That's an insult. That's an insult. What do I need a man for? Find a, my, a man on the same level as my career? What? A black woman, a husband, she comes after the career. But unfortunately, the husband ain't coming. Because only 25% of black women will get married. And the worst part is this advice, this preaching is coming from the single mothers who don't have men. So I'm thinking to myself, hold that way. Wait, wait, wait. Your single mom is telling you, get your career, a man will come. But a man never came for her. But the single mom thinks she never got the man because she never got the career because they think that men like what they like and we don't. Making you more unattractive. The reason why the man didn't come is not because you didn't get your degree. That's not the reason. And it's just a vicious, vicious cycle. These women will turn down marriage in their early 20s to become baby mothers in their early 30s. There is a girl in college, like girl next door, right? promise you like she was like cute sweet quiet you ne never know and I've, I've told this story a lot on my podcast but basically she dates a guy freshman year right this guy she was obsessed with dates him for a month he cheats on her it ends whatever right four years later she's dating another guy this guy bought her a house a house a house and literally, um, I was at a party, and literally she cheated with the guy from freshman year in the bathroom at the party that the other guy was at. And it's like, guys don't even think girls are, like, capable of this stuff. And, like, they would never expect that from her. And, like, sometimes it's just, like, the girls that you would not expect. Yeah, but, gotcha. And, you know, I'm not saying every girl's going to do that. I'm not saying that's 100% of women. But, like, sometimes I think it's important where we have spaces that men can, like, see that. I mean, if you guys had these similar thoughts, but... I thought women were so pure that I thought they never took shit because taking a shit is so disgusting. I'm like, women know this. This is nasty. That's how conditioned we are to think that women are these pure, you know, beautiful creatures. And, you know, my mom told me when I was 10 years old, she said, Louis, watch out for these women. I said, mom, what are you talking about? Only if I knew she was giving me the red pill serum, it would have saved me so much anguish in the future because come to find out a lot of these women Hey, shit. Let me tell you that. 
This man is so bad at looking into sources that it's dangerous. Man, you really do love making videos about me. All right, let's have this dance. It's ironic you're saying that because you're also the same person that said this. You say that men invented the internet that we're using right now. This is not true, this woman did. It's almost like you're not even reading your own source because as I've already debunked, she didn't invent the internet. She pioneered technology that would one day form the basis for today's Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth communication systems. That's not all. Because in that same video, you also made this claim. Men take such a pride in the fact that they've invented things even though half of them are stolen work from women. Now I would love for you to go find a source backing this claim that all these inventions men made, half of them were stolen from women. Please go ahead and prove that. I'll be waiting. Anyway, pretty funny that you say that I'm the one that's really bad at looking at sources, that it's even dangerous. Well, I always have the sources behind me in all my videos. You can see the links. You can go and research it for yourself. Um, can't say the same though. Why do these women constantly compare themselves to men? It's, it's so annoying. Women create the internet. Women create Wi-Fi. Women create electricity. Come on. It's because they want to push this idea of being independent queens and we don't need a man and da 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 But they can't do it in silence. Just do it in silence. You want to be independent? Okay, like, why do you have to keep telling everybody how happy you are? you got 12 cats. We know you're not happy. You're lonely. You're trying to bring women to be lonely like you. They don't want to be like you. It's like, we as men know that women couldn't survive without men. We know this. We do all the dirty jobs. All the dirty jobs we do. We've known this for years, but we never brought it up because we don't care. To compare myself to you it gives us no pleasure but these feminists they come out of the, of the woodworks with the most ridiculous shit you just gotta put them in their place like if it wasn't for men you wouldn't even be able to brush your teeth in the morning and i know some of you don't even do that